All right, so I've got my glow plugs out of the cat and uh, so I've got some that are corroded see they put this brass tip on and then they kind of crimp it but if it's loose on the wire the sticking up out of there it's not going to work and let me show you the so this is the harness and let's see number four the paints all burn means it's not getting a good connection and then number one is not getting good connection a lot of resistance there to burn the paint off so i got five of them out but i think i'm let's see i'm working on I think I'm working on number four. I can't get number four out, so I've I've got it to come out a little ways, and I keep out and in, out and in, and spraying PB Blaster on it. So let's see if it's a bad connection here. See, there's a, there's a little bit of spark if you touch it in the right spot. Let's bet. It's not. So the tip's not getting hot though. Woo, shit. It's just starting to smoke. Problem is, I'm, I'm only using 12 volt. That's it. I need 24. But anyway, it's working. She's a smoking. Why don't you reach down there and grab that for me? That one's smoking. He's working. This one. I think it's got to, yeah, see, the, the top of them should never get hot. This one's hot, so bad connection there. That one's smoking. Smoking. So this one, wow, that's hot. That's really hot at the end, and it shouldn't get hot. It means there's a lot of resistance there. Yeah, that one's hot. Top's cold. I think that one's getting hot, ain't it? Yep. Steam coming off. And that one's good. So out of those four, I got two of them. This one's kind of weird on the end. I wonder if she, yeah. Probably should just get rid of that one. See if I can find another one. So you see the, you see the gap. This is like an insulator. And then there's a hole in them. And I think they punch that with something. A lot of times if they're loose, I'll take them off and clean that up. Put them back on and try to stake them on good. Yeah, it's... It's loose on there. And the end's hot. I don't want to touch it. That one's loose. This one's not loose, but he's just corroded. So we'll set those two aside. Go over here to the glow plug warehouse. 24 volt glow plugs. So I got some brand new cat ones. I don't know where. These are Chinese made bastards. I didn't have much luck with them in the scrapers. These are boy in a scraper with that cam cover and it's so hard to get in there. You don't want to use these. So these old ones, let me look on here. See if I can read them. These are Welland, Welland glow plugs. This is the good stuff, Welland. I've got some old harnesses. I may just have to cut these ends off and replace them because they're plated with something. And once you've burned all that off, they're just never gonna work again. I'll take the good ones that are reliable and uh, 
put them where the ones that are hard to get to and then I'll take these cheap Chinese bastards and put them where they're easy to get to. But the problem is if you have one blow out in the side and create a big bulge, then they don't want to come up out of the hole. So let's go out, see if I can work on that other one and get it out of there. It just doesn't want to come. And if I had a, I need a spray bottle of that stuff called cum, then things come out. <laughs> it's a magic fluid called cum, come out. I should, I should make some penetrating oil called come out. Start, you bastard, and come out, you bastard. Oh. Anyway, this one's up in here. I gotta use a U-joint on him. Getting hard now. I spray it and then I turn it in and I turn it out. I need to get up in here farther and you're in the way, sir. So put you over here. Hi. Alright, you've seen enough. I'm just going to keep doing this till I get its ass whipped. Alright, I got the glow plug harness back in and I got that glow plug out of there. That was a miserable son of a gun. I must have went in and out of that hole a million times and sprayed it with PB Blaster. Before it came out, I think it was bent, so I threw it away. So that wire, I had to put a new one on. And then I think it was the one that I was having so much trouble screwing in and out. That one, the paint was burnt off. So I had to put a new, a used wire end on it. So I got that whipped. Now it should start better when it gets cold. On a positive note, I had a guy named Mick. Not Mick Dundee, but he, in my mind, he's a Mick Dundee because he messaged me through Instagram, said he would go down to Tilly's, get that stuff I needed and ship it to me. I said, okay. So he's going to do that, which is, I'm just flabbergasted. That's, that's totally awesome. Thank you, Mick. You are a lifesaver, sir. So, I think it's the end of the day. I haven't worked very hard today. I am going to go take a shower. I'm going to get in the Challenger, take Mrs. Paydirt, and go to town. And uh, get. I'm going to go take her to McDonald's and get a. A mocha frappe. How's that? I love those things. Those are so tasty. I'm missing a half inch and a five eighths there. It's Saturday night, man. Missing a five eighths and a half there. I hope they're here somewhere. There's a seven sixteenths. There's a five eighths. Another 70 sixteenths. All right, so they're all here. <sighs> so, I'll see you next week. I'm going to go, probably tomorrow, I'll go out and work on the 637, get that oil cooler put back on. See if I can get that old girl running and figure out what happened or if I've got it fixed. I'm hoping it was that compressor. What do you think? <laughs> Man, I hope so. Oh, it's a beautiful evening for a Challenger drive.
my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit.